Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the runtime to find the nth Fibonacci number using the recursion tree method. So the Fibonacci sequence is defined as t of n equals t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2. Uh, and then also just noting that our first and second numbers are 0 and 1. Okay, so we have this recurrence. Well, if you are familiar with the master method, you'll kind of notice right away that this recurrence right here does not match the form we need to use the master method. So we'll have to do it in some other way. All right, how are we gonna do that? Well, to calculate the nth Fibonacci number, so we have n right here, we need to know the n minus 1 Fibonacci number and the n minus 2 Fibonacci number. To calculate the n minus 1st Fibonacci number, we need to know the n minus 2 Fibonacci number and the n minus 3 Fibonacci number. Similarly for n minus 2, we need the n minus 3rd Fibonacci number and the n minus 4th Fibonacci number. Now in this process is going to keep repeating. We're going to need you know, two Fibonacci numbers for each like step in our algorithm until we get to our base cases, which is like t of zero or t of one, whatever you want to say. I guess we'll say t of one and t of two. T of one, which is zero, and t of two, which is one. So we're working our way down here until we get to these base cases. Okay, so I think the, the key thing to note here is how many levels are we going down? Well, if we start with n and we decrease n by 1 each time, then in the worst case, when we're not like looking at any of these minus 2 terms, it's going to take us n levels to get down all the way to the bottom where we're at kind of 1 or 2 or 0. Uh, about n, so I mean, it may be a little off, but don't worry about that for the sake of this problem. So we have n right here. Next I want to know is, you know, when we get to the bottom, how many leaf nodes will we have to add together? So if t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2, if we get all the way to the bottom here, how many things do we have to add together? Well, I can kind of see a pattern here if we start from the top. Well, we have one term in the first level. We have two terms in the second, four terms here. Um, and as you can see, we have a branching factor of two for each one of these things. So when we get all the way to the bottom here, we go down n levels. I know that it is going to be two to the n leaf nodes. So if we have two to the n leaf nodes in our kind of final step of calculating this value of n right here, this value of n um, is just adding like our leaf nodes together and that's in constant function that I'm saying that our runtime is O of 2 to the n for Fibonacci calculating the nth Fibonacci number so one thing you might be wondering is oh O to the 2 to the n well yeah that's just calculating the leaf nodes what about every other node well kind of my argument saying that like we don't really care is the level, the n minus first level, so if we only went down like n minus one levels, well that would have half as many nodes as this nth level does. And when we talk about asymptotic notation, we don't care um, about like additional factors as long as it's within a constant factor. So like, because we have two to the n here, we don't care about the two to the n minus one additional things because it's you know less than a constant of two times this value here. So our final runtime for this algorithm is O to the two to the n. So that is the runtime to calculate the nth Fibonacci number. Thank you for watching.